is Patrice and I play the organ. Um, I work here in the concert hall with Sing Out Choir, which is part of the Learning and Participation Programme. Um, I've been lucky enough as well to give a solo recital on this magnificent instrument in this magnificent venue, <laughs> which obviously we can see is empty today. <laughs> um, so a wonderful aspect of playing the organ is that every instrument is different. So obviously I can't exactly carry my instrument around with me as some musicians can, but um, it's a very exciting part of playing. You get to turn up to a venue and figure out the quirks of each individual instrument. Um, so this particular instrument was built by Kenneth Jones, who's an organ builder, and was installed in the concert hall here in 1991. Um, as you can see, it has four what we call manuals. Um, a pedal board, which I'll talk a little bit about later, and it has over what we call stops. And there's over 50 stops on this particular organ. Um, one of the favorite stops, I think, on this particular instrument is the reed state trumpet. Hopefully you can see the pipes that face out horizontally into the auditorium instead of upwards as the others do. So I'll just give you a little play of what that sounds like. basically a large wind instrument and um, sound is produced by wind blowing through several sets of pipes and these pipes um, are of different lengths to pr produce different pitches and um, so for example I could have a 16 foot sound up here which is quite deep and um, I can have an 8 foot sound on this particular manual Maybe I'd want to have a little four foot, which is a smaller length pipe, and even smaller yet, a two foot. Um, so the organ is made up of just different length pipes and um, different kind of stops. If you think of it as an orchestra, as you heard there, I can play trumpets and reeds if I want. <laughs> I can go for the softer flute and maybe I'd feel like even playing a string instrument. So I have everything available to me on the organ. Um, it has some unique stops as well that you wouldn't find in an orchestra and um, we call these kind of mutation stops. So if I show you what they sound like together. quite unique um, and what we tend to do is we build it up as in it's kind of just like adding instruments together so I wouldn't use those mutation stops on their own or maybe I would for effect at some stage but I would add them together so I might put in an eight foot flute uh, maybe I'd want to use some four foots and then I could add in those stops and you'll hear a little different sound <laughs> So it's just like combining the orchestra. And um, so if I just show you the pedals as well, I promised I'd talk a bit about these. So we have a pedal board for, on the organs and yes, it's for playing with your feet. So <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, some of the longest length pipes that you see up there relate to pedal board. So for example, here we have a, a 32 foot bass so if I play a note down here I wonder if that will come out it's very low <laughs> but then again I can build it up there's another 32 foot here you can hear it starts to get a little bit louder a bit scary uh, a 16 foot open wood and again I can just build it up as if I was adding instruments within an orchestra That's a fantastic part, playing the organ. Um, 
some organs, and um, not this one, it's very few, but some of them have a stop called a symbol stern, um, which is a star, can be wooden or metal, that when I pull a stop out or press a button on the, on the organ, uh, the star twirls around and rings some bells. So that comes in pretty useful around Christmas time. Uh, and we have a little video here to show you an example of one. So the main reason I wanted to learn to play the organ was because you get to play with your feet. Um, so I played the piano beforehand and I remember the first time I saw an organist playing in person, happened to be my dad, um, and I saw him play with his feet. I just got very excited, I thought oh, that, that's another level of fun. So that was, that's what drew me to the organ in the first place and since then I've just realised how great an instrument it is, but I would say that. Um, <laughs> so some people think that the pedals just kind of add a little bit of bass here and there, but they actually play completely independent lines. So it's like having another instrument in the orchestra, but you're, you're playing it with your feet. So it's great fun. Um, another great aspect about playing the organ is it's the sense of power. So um, especially at Christmas time, when you're in wonderful venues like this, and they're completely full and you're playing and everybody's singing along with you it can it's just an amazing experience so that's another thing that that drew me to the organ so i'll just play you a little example of one piece you might know um that we use around christmas time hopefully now this won't blow your ears off or maybe we want it to <laughs> to choose one of my favourite pieces, um, but I'm sure everybody says that. Um, so the one I decided to go with today is my favourite Christmas piece, um, and it is called In Dulce Jubilo, which means in sweet rejoicing. Um, in Dulce Jubilo is set by many composers, uh, but the one I'm looking at today is by Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, he himself said it numerous times in various forms. Um, but the one I'm going for today is BWV 608 and the reason I chose this one is because I think it shows um, a different side to the organ. Uh, some people are often surprised to hear that the organ can play anything other than loudly. Um, I mean obviously we have heard that it can play loudly but it can play softly as well and everything in between. Um, so I think that this particular piece shows a different side to the organ. So I'll play a little bit for you now.
staying with the idea of showing a different side to the organ, um, I'm suggesting two pieces to listen to um, and the links, the YouTube links will be just down below this video. Um, so the first piece I'm suggesting is called the Toccata from Sweet Gothique by Bo Ellman. Um, and I think this particularly shows quite a quirky side to the organ. Um, and the second piece I'm suggesting is a piece called Mirwar by Ad Wamas, who's a Dutch composer. Um, and again, it's quite different to the Toccata, but um, it just shows the various characters that you can achieve through music on the organ. Um, sometimes people seem to think that the organ is a very serious instrument, um, which it is, but so is every instrument really. So there's also the fun side to the organ um, and the quirky side. So I think if you listen to those two pieces, you'll get an idea of what's possible on this instrument. So thanks so much for watching today and I hope you learned a little bit more about the organ, um, which is the best instrument, but I would say that, wouldn't I? <laughs> um, keep an eye out for more videos in this series um, and hopefully I'll see you at a concert when the National Concert Hall reopens. Um, if you play the organ, uh, why not upload a video of yourself playing your favourite organ piece? Um, all the social media handles for the concert hall are below this video, so don't forget to tag them in this. And I'll just end by showing you the star of the show again. The, the organ of the National Concert Hall. With our pedal board down here. And our pipes up here. In our wonderfully Christmassy looking and empty <laughs> National Concert Hall. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!